hello guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm dr janet of jdiva.com and on this channel we talk on skincare tips relaxed hair and personal development if these are topics you enjoy please subscribe and stick around so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys one of my favorite skincare ingredients to use retinoids what they are the different types and how they benefit the skin Retinoid is an umbrella name used to describe vitamin A and its derivatives. They are both natural and synthetic, and there are so many. Some are over the counter and some are prescription strengths. Now, our body cannot produce retinoid, so we need to either take it in orally or apply to the skin. Now, for the purpose of today's video, I'll be focusing on topical retinoids, retinoids you apply to the skin. Now, based on their structure and when they were discovered, they can be broadly classified into four major generations. Now, the first generation includes retinol, retinaldehyde, tretinoin, isotretinoin, and alitretinoin. Now, the second generation includes acetretin. The third generation includes adapalin and tazarotin. Now, the fourth generation has trifarotin and selatinoid G. Now, of all the retinoids mentioned, tretinoin is the gold standard. It is backed by over 35 years of scientific research. It has been shown to really, really benefit the skin. However, it is fraught with a lot of side effects. And most people experience a lot of irritation when they use tretinoin. They have redness, itching, burning, even rash. Some can get very severe. So most people have moved towards milder retinoids like retinol and retinaldehyde. Now, before retinoids can mediate their effect, it needs to first get converted to its active form called retinoic acid. Now, retinoic acid is the form that actually binds to the nuclear receptors and then mediates the change we're looking for. Now, the number of steps needed in this conversion to retinoic acid determines the potency and the amount of irritation you can get from each of these retinoids. Now, when they bind to these nuclear receptors, they increase cell turnover. Now, the body has a regular cell turnover of about 28 days. Now, as we get older, the ability of the skin to turn over quickly wins. So what retinoids do is they bind to these nuclear receptors and trick them into behaving like a younger skin. Now, this increased cell turnover ensures that the pores get unclogged. So it is a wonderful skincare ingredient if you have oily, acne-prone skin. Now, this also benefits those who deal with hyperpigmentation or uneven skin tone. The gradual shedding of the skin cells would reveal fresher, more even skin tone. Now, sun rays stimulate collagen disruption and breakdown. Now, what retinoids do is they counter this. They induce collagen production and reduce their breakdown. So it is super, super important in anti-aging. In fact, it's the gold standard. When there is more collagen under the skin, the skin is firmer. There are less fine lines and wrinkles. So if you are just getting into anti-aging, you definitely need a retinoid in your skincare routine. Now, if you're just getting into retinoids, you may experience a period called retinization. Now, this is basically a purging phase. This is a phase where, because of the increased cell turnover, you know, clogged pores under the skin are brought up to the surface. So you may experience more breakouts and you may experience a lot of irritation, dryness, itching, even rashes on your face. However, you need to know when it's a breakout or when your skin is purging. Now, if it's the natural purging phase usually associated with this skincare ingredient, it will gradually wane over four to six weeks. So just push through that phase and then you're going to begin to reap the benefits of using a retinoid. Now, some of the retinoids can take three to six months for you to see this effect. So patience is the key here when using retinoids. And the effects on the skin are longer lasting than most skincare ingredients. Now, when you're just getting into retinoids, you need to start really slow. First of all, you need to pick the retinoid that is suited for your skin. If you deal with overly sensitive skin, you shouldn't go near tretinoin. You want to use the very mild forms like retinyl palmitate and retinol. Now, initially, you want to start once a week for the first two weeks and then move up to twice a week for the next two to four weeks. The more your skin adjusts to the product, you move on to three times a week and then eventually step up to daily use. For most of us, even daily use, especially for the higher strength retinoids, is totally not necessary because there's still some form of irritation even when your skin has gone beyond the purging phase. 
now retinas are broken down by sunlight so you want to leave them for your evening skincare routine and then the next morning you always want to step out with sunscreen because they leave your skin overly sensitive to the sun rays now i have a detailed video where i shared with you guys my evening skincare routine when i use retinoid it's a very simple skincare routine and that's how it should be on the night when you use retinoids now to keep it short you want to start with double cleansing and then move right onto your retinoid you take a little amount you put on inverse parts of your face and then you work it in and when you're done you always go over it with a moisturizer to prevent dryness and that's the end of your evening skincare routine so guys hope you found the video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button below and i'll see you guys on the next one bye